I found a lot of tin, which was fantastic. I now have to bulk up with copper to get the health hammer head. In this video, we see my first real harvest. I complete the health hammer. I make some more basic infrastructure. Then I go looking for sticks and true to form in vintage story, I found what is the perfect underground ruin to find early in the game. I hope you enjoy this video. The crop is stunted. It doesn't matter. Let's make sure nothing is stale in the water. Sometimes it goes in the water and you can't see it, but it's there. Wow. Okay. Nine. All right. And what is the temperature? 43 degrees. Oh my gosh. Right, let's harvest anything that can be harvested. This is all falling in the water. Right. Okay. Now, is there anything I can see in the water? No, we're okay. Now, where we have had the sunflowers, yeah, flax is only okay to 40 degrees. It's still worth planting. We need the flax, even if it suffers from heat. We still need it. And spelt is, and that won't work. Sunflower seeds are N, right, okay. So they will work over here. Where we had the flax, that won't work. Okay, let's see what other seeds we've got that we can use that will withstand this heated climate. I've got one flax that needs to be planted. No, 40 degrees. I need something 40. Some of them amaranth, 42 degrees, but it's N. Soy is K. Carrot is only 32. Let's try the soy just in case. Yeah, amaranth won't do it. Soy K, yeah, that's fine. Looking for something that will use that ingredient K, right? Soy, right over here. And then we've got a little bit more food here. My goodness, that went over. Okay. Wow. We have a lot of food. That's great. I feel that slowly but surely I am starting to get to a place I want to be. Which is, I have food. <laughs> All right, let's pop those back in there. And then down here. Yeah, flex can go in there. So we've got nine. three we need a lot more than this it's all right now I'm going to dig up my sunflower grain amaranth grain 
spelt grain yeah I've got plenty of those flax oh more sunflower grain wow we'll keep the flax grain on us and eat it all right that will work well good yeah I can work my way through that if I'm desperate and I'd have to be desperate right let's go find some copper oh. where's my nearest copper here I am actually gradually working my way through this map borax right keep going I hope I'm not near those wolves again do you need to keep an eye open for them now that they've spawned in slightly this way hello rabbit oh there is the copper right let's dig down and find this copper and there we are nice it's medium too good now there was only one piece on the surface so I'm not really expecting a huge deposit but I will mine it out and come back to you when I've finished. Right. I'm trying to see around this wretched tongs. I have to have them in my hand. Now that should be 300 units of tin bronze. Fantastic absolutely fantastic right okay I need a health hammer toggle and for that I'm going to need uh, let me think uh, I need a hammer I need a chisel go in there chisel that's good four resin one two three four because i've been collecting some from our such a useful desert i need four planks on either side i need one of these axles and a piece of fat that's the toggle excellent so we have the base the toggle so the next thing we need i'm not going to worry at this point about a clutch a transmission and a brake if i can get a working health hammer that's what i need i need more planks because I'm going to need eight planks just to make the health hammer arm so we can just sort out some more planks. What have I got in my hand? These hands are, they have, they are working on them, but they are driving me crazy at the moment. Right, where have I put my oak? That's fine. Just take this. I need eight planks. Uh, there's my toggles. I need a saw. How many planks do I get from this? Twelve. That's terrific. Now we have to wait for this to cool. And it's still very... Oh! 
Maybe we don't. Okay. That seems to be cool enough to handle. Lovely. That is our health hammer toggle. So we, uh, arm. So we have everything we need to make a health hammer. We could do with some more axles and we need flax for a windmill. Now, I don't think I am anywhere near enough flax for a windmill. <laughs> I've got three pieces of linen. Two flax twine, one of these. I am getting a lot of cereal from this area and from my farms. So I think it's about time that I made a clay oven because I think I'm getting to the point where I can actually make bread. So I have far clay and you have to make these ovens out of far clay. So there's no reason we shouldn't make this oven. I'm also at the point where I am building infrastructure. I am making infrastructure like this and this sort of infrastructure I'm making, like this clay oven, will last for the rest of the game. A lot of the clay moulds I've made will last for the rest of the game. The farms I'm building will last for the rest of the game. So we're actually in a position where we're building up the essentials that will help drive the game forwards. But it does take an awful lot of work and, to be quite honest, grinding to get to the point where you can drive the game forwards. The clay oven, I think, is the most beautiful construction. We'll be able to make bread with this, and bread is a very good way of carrying food with you. It lasts reasonably well in a cellar, but the other thing is that a lot of the traders will buy bread for you so we can use it as a food and as a commodity that's a good thing to have this oven does work on firewood so we need to make sure we've got oops a good supply of firewood handy We have a clay oven and this does not need to be fired. It's one of the few things that does not need to be fired. Now I want to take that across to my new build. I don't want to be making things here. I'm going to make a second pickaxe mold. The reason for that is that I find that the tool that I get most use out of but also that I have to keep repairing most is the pickaxe so more pickaxes rather than less the other molds I haven't yet made are raw crocs and as we get more food we will want to store it in a cellar in crocs so we'll make some raw crocs to do that and then one thing i do want to make is a set of shears right shears first copper shears yeah here we go very easy to do these Do the other end. Right, 
and knock out the middle. Cheers, cooling, bubbling, and a quad. And we want a scythe head. Right. Okay, let's get our rubbish out of there. Put that in. Wow, our rot pot is building up. Let's go and put this cooking pot over here. Pick up our scythe head. Great. And let's drop those back there. Yes, so useful. I'm going to take two of the clay and I am just going to work my way up to the bees. I'm going to put another skep up by my bees and I'm going to collect grass and twigs on the way. This is so much easier. I'm just going to take my axe as well. I'm already gaining seeds here. Lovely. Look at that. Fantastic. Oh, fishes. I've got plenty of food with me. Right, what I do want to do is to cut these reeds with my scythe. Look at that. Wow. So good for harvesting crops and reeds. Ah, yes. Yay. Okay. And this grass here, of course, we'll take some of that. Nice. Good. Nine, 19 reeds. So we should be able to make another skep. Yes. Good. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Oh my word. Oh, I've seen this place before. This is fantastic. Look at this. Wow. Beautiful. So much lava. I don't know what I'm doing exploring in caves. Oh, I've got rusty gear. And look at this, this is just stunning. Absolutely stunning. Is there anything else down here? Oh, wow. Oh, it goes down. No. Oh, look what I found. I found a dungeon. 
Okay, let's just put that in there. Oh, wow. Um, right. All right, we want to put this down on a surface that will take it. And then I want to see whether, can I get my crate off my back? I can. Let's give ourselves a little bit of privacy here. Can I bleep over there? No. Right. Slate cobblestone, nice. Now, what have we got here? Right, first of all, let's move um, all that off my bar for the time being. Can I pick these up? Let's move that off my bar. Oh, I can. Wow. I'm a fan of that. What else is in here? Uh oh. Yeah, I'm a bit stuck on this corner. Let's come round here. Right. Okay, so what have we got here? Let's get rid of some of this clutter. Oh my gosh, a Jonas part, a rough diamond. Oh my word. Malachite tin ingot. Are you kidding me? I'm going to have to get rid of some stuff. I had not expected to be getting all this beautiful stuff. Right, okay, we could do, see these will meld together and we'll take, we'll get rid of the maple seeds, we'll get rid of the pine seed, oh gosh, right, oh my word. Yeah, there's nothing that I want to get rid of. At a pinch, I'll get rid of the reeds. What's that? Not the spider web. Broken anvil. Slate cobblestone. Oh my word. What is that? Medium crate pottery. What? Now it's broken. Hmm. What else do I want from here? If anything. I've got some floorboards here. I've got... That looks like a cooking pot. A forge! Oh my word. Right. Let's eat that, put it on the ground. Yeah, we'll take all that. That can go in there, that frees the space up. Can I, ah, it's a crucible. Right, let's put that on the ground. Yeah, all this stuff I want. Terrible hoarder. The reeds I can do without. I'd rather have the crucible. And I've got a forge. If I put this, can I get that on my back? Let me just check. Yeah, I've got that on my back. 
Okay. Good. So, we've picked up the reeds. These can go in there. The spider web. Can I put that down again? Yeah, I can. Should we take the forge? We should. We will need two forges. Excellent. Right, I think what I'm going to do is to mark where this is. And I'm going to mark it with a cracked pot. That's come out as copper. How astonishing. And we're going to put this as um, cave ruin. Ruin. Yeah, then we know it's there. There was some good stuff in there, though. Is that a ruined bed? I can't see what that is. But we've got spider webs, we've got aged wood and everything in here. So we might come back to this at some point. Uh, not now. Wow. Let's go up out of this cave. Wow, this has been a very, very nice little cave to explore. And we know... Oh, what's that? Borax. borax in the cave. I don't know how much borax I'll need, but I have so much. Oh my goodness. Wow. So beautiful. There's more stuff down there. That looks a bit more dangerous and I'm absolutely full of things so I can't take any more I think what I am going to do is to go back home actually and drop this lot off oh oh that's an empty bit right I can hear growling chalk with the pink i had one brilliant thought for a moment i thought it might be halite but it's not oh hello sticks will take you well that was a very successful look for sticks <laughs> yeah i've got that cave entrance marked let's mark it in green wow Okay, uh, 